Greetings ladies and gentlemen, no it is not Friday, welcome back to another one of my basic videos. Here we are on OGS. Today I want to try to play either a buildy game or a bit more of an aggressive game. Now it's always uh, good to point out that it's not always up to you which type of game that you play. Go is played with two people if you are not aware. Fun fact. But that means you can't always like sit down and decide how the game is going to go before you start playing, so just be aware of that. Alright, looks like we might have a game here, as long as this guy is willing to accept. It is his move. It is his move. Probably it's if he wants to play me. Maybe looking at my record. Not much one right now. <sighs> oh, he is going to play me. All right. So remember what I said? We're looking to either maybe do a build, but we're white, so the chances of that seems a little bit um, probably not going to happen. So maybe we're going to go and do a little bit of fighting instead. Let's see how this. Let's see how this pans out. Let's see how this pans out. <clears throat> okay, Sanren say. Looks like he's gonna be the one that's doing the building. Uh, so, guys, adhere to basics at the start, at the very least. I'm going to simply approach the open corners, We're going into the corner and not diving out, because we never jump out from the pincer on a four four. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and settle like so. There you go, something a bit like that. Now we have a choice. We could do this again. But I don't really feel like doing that. Instead, I'm just going to prevent him from expanding, I think. Yeah, that seems kind of basic. If you want to be annoying, could hit the could hit the 3 3 and then just start reducing. But I'm not gonna do that, I don't think. Hopefully I'm going to take away his expansion and see what he wants to do from here. Approaching is fine. I just felt that he, if I approached, would probably get a pincer again. Uh, you get another wall. And then we're kind of dealing with that variation where we get Sente and we can do whatever. But I don't really want to feel like, I don't really feel like doing that. Um, so he's made this kind of thing. I'm going to, again, do basic -y stuff, but I'm going to do it from here instead to aid my stone that I just created. Since this is a bit of an approach on my little one stone. So now we've got corner territory, we have comb, I think so anyway. We've also corner territory, a little bit of an extension. He's trying to just build this area up, which is, you know, it's an area. Um, you know, I won't say it's not, it is, clearly. But I will take the open corner first before dealing with this. He needs to now split or approach maybe, but approach seems a little bit small since you can only approach like to here. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm going to be a little bit conservative in here and just play something like, I lied, I'm approaching uh, quite close, put a maximum pressure on him. Look at the two space, I'm going to kick him in a minute, and then I'm going to go into here into leaning on him. We kick him to keep him out of our corner, then we lean on him, threatening to surround him, put him by enemy lines. See? Just like that. He's probably going to, yep, not not defend and invade. Uh, they People love doing this. I don't know why it's... Um, I, I, they're just betting you can't really harm them. You see Don's doing it all the time too. It's Maybe, maybe that's where I picked it up from. But usually, your two stones are under attack. You want to defend your two stones. 
uh, cause I could like lean over here, for example, if he responds, I can haunt, I can hunt here. And if he responds, then this is like his eye shape with this thing being uh, false. So that's kind of bad. And say he's playing here. And the problem with this is actually quite simple. He's going to haunt it, I think, or play this one to try to be tricky. Which one are you going to do? Try to be tricky? Yeah, so this has been making a lot of rounds lately. It's really, really strange. Um, the idea here being, if you Atari, oh, they can Atari too! But again, they're making you really, really strong over here, and what happens to this group? If you pull back, and they play here, I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to play here, and they can Atari down. You're going to play here, and they connect, and you play there, and they you Atari bad bad oh no scary but it's not really scary because this is colossally bad you got one weak group that you're gonna make a triangle with next to another group which can't live locally so this for all intents and purposes is the worst thing that you can do to yourself um, right now we're just gonna go ahead and kill the stones off because we're allowed to See, he wants me to extend, so he can Atari and then play here, but then I just play there and it's not bad. So I will go ahead and allow this to take place. Or if I really want to uh, point out that this is not a good thing, I could I could connect here, or even extend up. Alright, so I could, uh, I could also extend up. He takes, and then I block this. Let's go ahead and do that instead. Let's showcase why we don't have two running groups. Like, forget the reading part. He's trying to Atari, I'm defending myself. Let's showcase why we don't do this. So right now he has no eyes yet, because this is um, not Sente. We have a table shape, so we're pretty strong in the area. Okay, now if I really want to be aggressive against him, I could play here. And then if he takes, I can play here, right? Um, instead, I'm just going to play this one. Ah, uh, and scratch my eye. Ah, uh, there we go. So you can see how it looks like, ooh, no, we were in trouble. We, our enclosure just got destroyed, right? But our enclosure had, like, what? Um, potential 3, 6, 9... What was it? Here to here, right? Yeah, enclosure there to there. So I had potentially 3, 6, 9, 12, like maybe 15 points. Do we have that now? 3, 6, 9, 12. It looks like we actually haven't lost anything from him playing this way. We still we still have a lot of territory here. Only now, if I want to be a jerk, I can play here and uh, attempt to kill him because I can falsify this. I play here, he takes, I extend off, and then this is just dead. But I, I'm not interested in this group. Remember what I said? about how this one gets hurt. So I'm interested in that one more than any other. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to play here first. Just like I mentioned in the previous, uh, in my, in my previous explanation as to why this kind of thing isn't uh, so great for you. Like, I don't want to worry about this. I'm interested more in you left this behind. Here's why we don't do that, OK? So let's go ahead and just do something nice and simple. Uh, I'm actually going to play not to do 100% kill, but I'm getting a wall. And for those of you who are really good at this game, you might then realize, wait a minute, he also wants to build this up. So hang on, hang on. What if we threaten to um, reduce him here? and build up the center. Like a lot of people have short-term goals. Like I'm I'm, I'm going to I'm just going to play here. Just Aji, I'm playing there. But they don't have uh, much in the way of long-term, like the whole board. Like I'm going to play here and I'm going to live. It's like okay, you can play there. It's like and I'm going to live. I'm going to play there and I'm going to live. Okay, you're going to play there and you're going to live. 
then what? Like, what? What did I get from you living? Was it was it really worth creating this teensy, teensy tiny group with like one, two, three, or four points, maybe? So you can't kill this. I play here. Um, he plays here. I look underneath, and then actually I could kill it, couldn't I? Do no, I can't. Do do do. Do, do, do. Yeah, I, I actually could. But before I decide if I want to kill one of these, I want to point out what I just said, okay? Because I feel like this is like a really, really important uh, kind of lesson. Like right now, if I say something like, bam, this is a sector line. By playing on his sector line, I am expanding. This is how we attack for profit, right? We kept this group separated, they didn't connect. I could kill maybe one or both of them, but that doesn't really even matter because you don't attack to kill, you attack to do something. This is my something. Because I got so much strength here, I can dive in wherever I want and that's threatening to grow a huge area. See how that works? Now he's just going to play 10 again, and I guess that's going to be the end of the game. Um, I'm going to keep at it, actually. I'm going to cap his lowstone. This is turning into a bit of a build game, kind of like what I wanted to do initially. Like, all we're doing is we're getting all up in everything you wanted to build. You know? Distraction. I want him to make me stronger. See? Like I said, I want to be made stronger. And that by making me stronger, he's hurting his stone. He should have it here. Behind is here. I take back everything I ever said against him. Honey at the head of three stones. It's a very good thing to do. Good boy. Excellent. Excellent latitude. Ooh, too much, too much, too much. Now he's trying to save the stone, but he can't because I can just tiger's mouth. And we're perfectly fine. He should give clamp to me. Clamp, 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 clamp. Ooh. Not so good. Now he's hurting himself. So these three stones now have to run to here to live. There's no other choice. Because he can't make two eyes in here. It's impossible. Also, I've got this really great squeeze on these two stones. Uh, ew. I... <laughs> no. Uh, we're going to sort of retro. He just made me make an empty triangle. Empty triangle happened. It happened. But we're not interested in killing these two stones, mind you. Because we are going to get reduced here. The question is, what else, what else are we going to get while we're getting reduced? Um, so it looks like we're going to get this into cutting off this stone. So it looks like we're building up all of this while he's building up like a little bit of this area. Ooh, that's a painful one. He missed the Atari. I don't know how he missed the Atari, but he missed the Atari. We are playing a 7Q. 7Qs maybe sometimes miss Atari. But I really w see the thing is now he might resign when I don't really want him to. I wanted to play here and show how we attacked for math. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, he can take that, so I don't care. Uh, I want to show how we attacked for like profit, right? Like maybe all of this, which is really nice. Um, him taking this doesn't seem like a very large thing, 
So I'm going to go ahead and play here. Because these stones are fine, these stones are fine, these stones are fine. So this stone isn't really that large. So now we've attacked for profit to here. Um... I don't really want him playing here. That's his next move, so I guess I'll defend this one. I think it's probably a little bit too slow, but I don't really want him playing there because it ruins my count in the corner. Because we were going to get about 15 points there, like our original enclosure was expected to, and you know, 3, 6, uh, 9, 12, 15 ish. So, I mean, it, it keeps it where we wanted it to be. But, like, we had like a 15 point enclosure. We still have like a 15 point whatever. Playing here is important because if we play if we played here, then that becomes an a mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now I think he's got Mei, right? He's got this one, he's got that one, so it's fine. Let's go ahead and just remove that. A little bit of Aji. A little bit of RG and threaten to go into his corner. So I really like how we were able to attack for profit. And now we're going to reduce his area while threatening these two stones. Uh, reason being, we could play here. Maybe we should. Tell you what, let's play there. I hear you. I hear you, chat. I don't know why I said chat, because I'm doing this not live, I'm doing this uh, offline. But we're going to patch this up, and then we'll worry about his weak points. Shape first. So we have a corner here, which is worth about 15, plus Komi, and now it's worth like 21. Uh, we've got this down here, he could make this exchange still, we have at least 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, maybe 10 points. Uh, this ladder, as you can see, goes to this point, which means this one would be an Atari, so we can cut that. Like, we check and see if we can cut here first. We read ladder. Ladder goes diagonally. And the minute it gets close to this stone, then we know that there's an Atari there. Do 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 See, like right there, we have that one and that one with that stone. So this stone's an Atari. We have Mei. If he takes this one, we'll just go ahead and play here. And if he plays here, we'll connect. Just need to be able to look to read out and essentially count to two. You know? You can see a move or two in advance, you can get down level if you yep, see me I there we go, like we mentioned. If you um, can count to two, pretty strong. Um I don't really see where that's gonna go. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and I don't know, play here? I, I don't really need to play anything here because we're pretty strong in this area. Tell you what, I'll answer him. Easy way. Easy way I'll answer. So this area is mine right now, which is really nice. His initial Sanrin say, he kept it all, which we're completely fine with. You might Atari here and Atari here, none of that matters because there's an Atari here, which ends that stone, so whatevs, you know? Take a drink. So now what's he going to do? Atar oh, okay, he's going to connect. I will afford the same courtesy and I will connect up myself as well because there's cutting points. Shape first. You 
still has no eye until he plays this move. Until he plays this move, he doesn't have a single solitary eye. He's trying to cut through and uh, push through and cut here, by the way, which I think is what he's going for. <laughs> Danger of what he's doing, though, if I get this move, I can kill this group again, because when I Atari here and he takes, I won't have to respond because I won't have a weak point here. This is like a nice solid group. So I can just play there and kill a top group. So we falsified that. I will not allow this to live because an invasion like this that was cut off, um, that had no eyes, really should be able to live. I'm just going to make nice strong shapes, connect up, defend my stones, and shouldn't be uh, having a problem here. Shouldn't be having a problem at all. Okay, so I'm gonna try to push through. I'm just gonna make this shape, right? Mm-hmm. I can just go ahead and respond. There are two ways to poke out this eye, so this is never an eye. Um, you can try to play here, but there's ways to poke out that. He's trying to get it, so I'm just going to go ahead and take it away from him. Just like so. And then if he responds, we'll play here to defend our shape again. If he tries to turn, we can actually back off because we've got Mii cutting points. Or we can just play locally here. If he plays here, we can just play here as well. I mean, whichever. It doesn't really matter. Keep looking at my preview window. It looks so strange having a. Um. Sure, he hurt me, so I'll respond. It's so weird having a uh, bit of a glare from that side. All right. Um. Tell you what, I'll just answer here once more for the sole reason of just showing there's no way to go and do anything else here. Like I said, we're resting assured that this and this are me eye to block this eye. As long as we've got that, then this is, we've already uh, poked out shuttered area, so we are good. Everything's good. Everything is good. The question is, what is he going to do next? I think at this point, we're not going to get to end game. I think he is going to just go ahead and resign. That's an Atari. There's no reason to play it. That kills the eye too. Just eliminating a little bit of Aji. That's all. Just a smidge. So like I mentioned, uh, probably um, end of the game. I will review the top uh, kills. In case anyone is curious about that, I'll go ahead and show how those could have been a thing. Um, what else? Yep, resignation, thought so. Uh, thanks for the game, exclamation mark. Let's go ahead and review. 
Alright, so we were white, he played San Rinse, and he built, nothing wrong with that. Uh, enclosure here is not that bad, but you know, I would really play, really get in the approach before anything else. Corners, side, center. He's developing side into center, but he did the corner and did a corner first. Let's follow up with this one. Wild left. This, not that great. This is just corner. This is corner, corner, same corner. Kind of strange. At this point, I mean, you really need to play another move here. Make sure that you can't uh, be hurt here, really. And even then, it's really tough because even though I can't kill you now, I can surround, which is it's pretty good. This is not really a thing. That is not really a thing. And now we have a weak group. So here's what I'm referring to. I played here, right? And then after he played there, I play this one. And he takes. Then there's no way for two eyes, right? So if I play here, he has to extend it. I extend it. Same thing, he's still dead. He has to extend one more time, I play there, and only if this works will he not be dead, but it clearly it clearly doesn't work, it doesn't go anywhere, so that would just be a 100% easy kill. But I wanted to show this thing instead. I wanted to show that creating a group that has to live right next to another group that needed to live is not healthy at all. So we played here. What I uh, was originally going to show was this one, because now this is really, really tough. Really, really tough. Like, how do we begin turning this into anything? It's hard to do, man. It's hard to do. We played here. There's a throw in here, I think, right? Because this doesn't really work. Um, this could be a thing. If I go here, he goes there. Maybe he was alive. He okay, so he was live on the top. I'm. I apologize. That looks like it's actually alive, unless it's not. No, it looks fine. I can't think of anything. Like, I thought about this one, but he can actually just play here. Incente, too, it looks like. So, yeah, I guess this is a lie, whatever. So, he played this one, which is not that bad, but not that good either. Like, he could have played something like this instead that actually grows what he's trying to get, that'd be not bad. Teddy played there, allowing me to cap him again, and then distract him. Like right now, we need to just connect up. Maybe counterattack. Not just defend. If you just defend when you're attacked, and never counter no matter what shapes or connections your opponent has, Oh boy, not good, not good. Then all pressure remains on you, never your opponent. This would be good. Something like that. Something like that. Not bad, not bad. So I played here, which was not so good. This should have been played here. We play this one. That's all we expected. Got to take instead. And ladders here are so important. We protected our shape. 
most he could really do is protect his shape. So he played the Hane, bad shape, so we cut. And that was actually the end of the game. Took out his eye point. Really, really important. Take away the eye point. And that's game. So really very, very basic. Very, very basic in my opinion. A little bit aggressive. Something did die in the game, clearly. But overall, I think it's also uh, pretty much a very basic game. Hope you enjoyed the game. Hope maybe you learned a little something from it. And as always, I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.